we must talk in secret. I have remembered me. Thou'st hear my counsel. Thou know'st my daughter is of a, a pretty age. Faith, I can tell her age in to an hour. She's not seventeen. I lay seventeen of my teeth. And yet, to my teeth be it spoken, I have but seven. <laughs> She is not seventeen. How long is it now till arm is tight? A fortnight and odd days. Even or odd of all days in the year, come Lama's Eve at night, she shall be seventeen. Susan and she, God rest all Christian souls, were of an age. Well, Susan is with God. She was too good for me. But as I said, on Lama's Eve at night she shall be seventeen. For it's fourteen years now since the earthquake and she was weaned. I never should forget it. Shake, quoth the dove Faust, was no need, I trow, to bid me trudge. And since that time it is eleven years. For the day before she broke her brow. And then my husband, God rest his soul, he was a merry man, took up the child. Yea, quoth he, fallest upon thy face, thou wilt fall backward when thou comest to age, will thou not jewel? And the pretty fool stinted and said I, Ah, how a jest should come about. <sighs> Marry, I should live a thousand years. I never should forget it. Wilt thou not, Jewel, said he. And pretty fool, it stinted and said I. Enough of this. I pray thee, hold thy peace. Yes, madam, but I cannot choose but laugh. <laughs> to think. The pretty fool stinted and said, I. <laughs> Peace I have done. God mark thee to his grace. Thou wast the prettiest babe that e'er I nursed. And if I live to see thee married once, I shall have my wish. Mary. That Mary is the very theme I came to talk of. Tell me, daughter Juliet, how stands your disposition to be married? <sighs> well, think of marriage now. Younger than you, here in Verona, ladies of esteem are made already mothers. By my count, I was your mother much upon these years that you are now a maid. Thus then, in brief, the valiant Paris seeks you for his love. A man, young lady, lady, what a man. Why, he is a man of wax. Verona's summer hath not such a flower. Uh, nay, he's a flower, a very flower. <laughs> What say you? Can you love the gentleman? This night you shall behold him at our feast. Read all the volume of young Paris's face and find delight writ there with beauty's pen. Examine every married liniment and see how one another lends content and what obscured in this fair volume lies find written in the margent of his eyes. This precious book of love, this unbound lover, to beautify him only lacks a cover. Oh, the fish live in the sea, and tis much pride for fear without the fear within to hide. That book in many's eyes doth share the glory, that in gold clasps locks in the golden story. So shall you share all that he doth possess by having him. 
making yourself no less. No less. Stay bigger. Women grow by men. Speak briefly. Can you like of Paris's love? <sighs> Juliet, the county stays. Go, girl. Seek happy nights to happy days. <laughs> <laughs>